this video is not for beginners seriously if you just learned what space-time is or you think the fourth dimension is just time you are not ready for this this one is for the heavy thinkers the ones who daydream in tensors think in manifolds and find beauty in the curvature of space if you have ever sat in silence wondering what lies beyond time and space not in fantasy but in physics then you are exactly where you need to be because today we are diving deep into the fifth dimension not the sci-fi version the real one hidden in equations folded in theories and possibly the glue holding reality together so fasten your brain buckle up your logic and let's step into the hidden architecture of the universe Section 1. The fifth dimension was never meant to be seen. Let's rewind time. Back to 1921. Physicist Theodore Peluza had a crazy idea. What if gravity and electromagnetism were not separate? What if they were just different views of the same force from a higher dimensional perspective? So he did something radical. He added a fifth spatial dimension to Einstein's general relativity equations and the result Maxwell equations the very laws that govern electromagnetism magically emerged from the math it was like unlocking a secret level in physics later Oscar Klein jumped in and gave this idea a quantum twist he said this fifth dimension is curled up so tiny it loops in on itself smaller than a proton's core you cannot see it you cannot feel it but it's there a silent architect of the laws we follow not an extra a foundation now we will discuss the section two the fifth dimension is not out there it's built into physics here is the truth bomb you don't need to go to the fifth dimension you are already living through its effects. In string theory and M theory, our universe has 10 or even 11 dimensions, but the fifth is the gateway. It's where the magic starts to happen. Ever wonder why the electron has its exact charge or why gravity is so embarrassingly weak? It might be because the fifth dimension is folding in ways we cannot see. This process called compactification is not just theory fluff, it's real math. The extra dimensions curl into fantastically complex shapes called calabi yau manifolds. These are not just pretty shapes, they are machines generating the physics we experience. Change the shape, you change the universe. Now comes the section 3 gravity might be leaking into the fifth dimension let's play with a strange little paradox a tiny fridge magnet barely a few grams can lift a paper clip against the gravity of the entire earth how that shouldn't be possible gravity is not actually weak maybe it's just being stretched thin enter the randall syndrome model one of the boldest ideas in modern physics. It says our universe is a 4D brain floating in a higher 5D space. The fifth dimension is curved, warped. Imagine a trampoline but stretched so oddly that things roll off it exponentially fast. As gravity tries to spread into the fifth dimension, it gets pulled away, thinned out like light fading into fog. To us on the brain, gravity seems weak, but in the full 5D bulk, it could be just as strong as the other forces. We are not seeing the whole picture, we are just feeling the leftover ripple. It's not that gravity is shy, it's just leaking into the fifth dimension. That's not weakness, it's an illusion baked into the fabric of reality itself. Here is the section 4. What if forces are not forces at all? Alright, buckle up. This is where physics starts spending your mind. 
in the realm of higher dimensions, something wider merges. Forces like electromagnetism might not be forces. They might just be ripples, tiny geometric tremors, echoing through the fifth dimension. According to the math, when you extend Einstein's equations into 5D, something beautiful happens. The extra components of the 5D metric tensor start behaving like a gauge field we see in our 4D world. Let that land for a second. The deep symmetries of nature, U1, S, U2, S, U3, the sacred foundations of the standard model, they might not be separate laws at all. They might just be projections, shadows of a deeper geometry, like sunlight casting patterns through an invisible 5D lattice. If that's true, then geometry doesn't just describe physics. Geometry is physics. And maybe, just maybe, dimensions are not the stage where physics plays out. They are the play. Section 5. The fifth dimension is not time, but it can break it. Time travel? Yeah. The fifth dimension doesn't just allow it. It might require it. Under certain conditions, the fifth dimension can create closed timeline curves, loops in time. In Gödel solutions or brain world models, particles might literally loop back to their own past. And guess what? Einstein equations don't forbid it. Even more bizarre, gravitons, the hypothetical particles of gravity, might shortcut through the fifth dimension. They could arrive before light. Imagine sending a message into your own past. This is not just sci-fi, it's real physics on the edge of what's possible. Now we will discuss the sixth section, energy is equal to distance in the fifth dimension. Let's imagine a hologram. According to a powerful theory called ADS-CFT duality, our 4D universe might just be a holographic projection of a deeper five-dimensional reality. In this idea, everything happens in a gravity-based 5D space called anti-day sitter or ADS space. It is perfectly mirrored by a 4D quantum world without gravity called conformal field theory or CFT. Wild, right? But here is the real twist. In this 5D world, the fifth dimension is not actual space. It's energy scale. Going deeper into the fifth dimension doesn't mean walking further. It means zooming into higher and higher energy physics. Zoom out, you are in the calm world of classical physics. Zoom in, you hit the chaotic realm of quantum fields and particles. The fifth dimension becomes a kind of energy map. So when physicists talk about scale-dependent physics, what they really mean is we are moving through the fifth dimension. Section 7. Brain collisions in the fifth dimension may have created everything. Big Bang? Maybe. But there is a different idea called a pyrotic cosmology that says the universe wasn't born from a singularity it was born from a collision between two brains moving through the fifth dimension no infinite densities no breakdown of physics just two giant membranes in 5d space touching releasing energy creating space-time that was the big bang but not the beginning of everything just the beginning of our universe a fifth dimensional dance that gave birth to all this and now the final section section 8 quantum entanglement may be a 5d connection quantum entanglement is weird two particles light years apart still affect each other instantly einstein called it spooky action at a distance but what if they are not truly distant what if they are connected through the fifth dimension? Some physicists believe entangled particles may be linked by a 5D shortcut, like a wormhole. It's called ER, EPR, Einstein Rosen bridges. Wormholes might be the geometric side of entanglement. 
This suggests quantum information is not traveling, it's already connected, not across space but through extra dimensions. Friends, the fifth dimension is not sci-fi, it's science, waiting to be proven. You cannot travel to it, you cannot see it, but its fingerprints are everywhere. In the charge of particles, in the strength of gravity, in the very moment our universe was born. The fifth dimension is not distant, it's embedded in reality a skeleton beneath the skin of existence and if we learn how to read its structure we might finally crack the biggest puzzle of all how to unite gravity and quantum mechanics friends if you are still watching you are not average you are not just here for surface level science you are digging deep for truth for beauty for understanding drop a comment did this blow your mind or raise new questions? Let's talk. I read them all. Subscribe, stay curious and keep bending reality. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and thank you.